Boxing live from Dallas. I wonder how long this feeling out process is going to last. Jake Paul on the outside. So right as, now, as you know, Jake Paul and Nate Diaz had the fight. And um, what do you guys think? Was it a fair Good fight? And um, what do you think of the results? Like the like the so as you know, um, if you said the full fight, they was um, playing along, but it did give a good you know, performance. So if you just go to um, ESPN channel, we can see. Let's just have a quick um, reaction. Jake Paul outpoints Nate Diaz, then calls for a rematch in MMA. Okay, <laughs> that's not bad. Okay, the YouTuber turned a prize fight to defeat Nate Diaz via a unanimous decision. All right, so. 97, 92, 98 to 91, 90, or 98 to 91. If you need, so there we go. Saturday night, a sold out. Okay, let's end up. Plus, um, Paul hurt Diaz in the first round and seemed that he would cruise or finish the fight early, but Diaz hung in and made a competitive fight. He's tough, he's real tough, Paul said in the post uh, fight interview. Uh, that's what he's known for, but tough in this world doesn't work. Let me see if this plays. No, it's not playing. Okay. I knocked him down one. Yeah, he did. Um, we'll try to get that clip. Um, I knocked him down and won basically every round. But he's a warrior. I had him hurt in the first round. Um, he kept he kept on coming. No, no one's taken that much damage. All credit to my uh, to my team of conditioning. Going ten rounds in my eighth fight is unheard of. Only been boxing for three years and be a UFC legend. Um, so what do you guys think? Was it a fair result? Um, Paul's challenged Diaz to an MMA fight afterwards and Diaz seemed receptive. Uh, let's see how much they're making. Paul and PF, uh, PFL have, have a starting of 10 million offer to Diaz to do it. Diaz said that um, it would have to be a co-promoted by the Real Fight Inc. Zach Ronsfield. Diaz rep and Real Fight uh, Inc. Versus said that the prize wouldn't be 10 million implying it would have to be more. If I just lost, I would like to rematch uh, him in this to be him uh, in this, Diaz told ESPN. But if not, I would do MMA. Whatever uh, I got to do, I get a rematch. So Paul dropped Diaz in the fifth round, but Diaz recovered. D uh, Diaz joked afterwards about getting Paul into a, gu a guillotine choke in the 10th and final round. Paul outstanding, um, outlanded Diaz. 174 to 143 in total punches. Diaz's best work on or was on the inside while Paul's utilized a nice left hook on the outside to hurt uh, Diaz several times. He um, let's see, he just w wasn't defending it. Paul told ESPN on the left hook. So if we just go down, um, Diaz spent 70 years in UFC and was one of the promotional biggest stars. He choked out. Conor McGregor um, handing McGregor his first UFC loss in 2016. Um, punch stats. We already said 174 to 143. Uh, total throw in 491 to 392. Um, so who's going to be um, Jake Paul's next fight? Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.